What's going on guys, this is ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be tackling Sega Saturn emulation using Mednathan. In this video I'm going to be calling it Manathan because it's just easier to pronounce it that way. Lately I've kind of been on this standalone emulator kick. Now I love RetroArch. This core is built into RetroArch and if you want to use it, Brad made an awesome tutorial a few years ago and you can check that out here. I'll leave a link for that video in the description. For me, I love using standalone emulators. Don't get me wrong, RetroArch is great. I still use it for a ton of different systems. But recently for Sega Saturn, I've been using the standalone version of Manathan. Now it's pretty easy to set up in LaunchBox. And in my opinion, this is one of the best emulators on the market right now. You can always go with the older SSF if you want to. But I find that Manathan emulates everything I need to pretty much perfectly. So the first thing we're going to do here is go ahead and download the latest release. You can go to releases. Link for this website is in the description. I'm going to download the 64-bit version. It's recommended. And as you can see, I already have it here in my downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead and extract it right in here. We're going to have to move this to our LaunchBox directory in just a second. But I'm going to open it up and I'm going to start the EXE real quick. It's going to give me an error. That's totally normal. It's going to create some more folders and files inside of here. Now I want to keep LaunchBox portable, so I'm going to be putting my Manathan emulator folder inside of my LaunchBox directory. Mine's on an external drive, well, a separate drive, LaunchBox, emulators, and I'm just going to drop it right in here. Now when using Manathan, or any Sega Saturn emulation, BIOSes are very important and we need them for Manafin to work correctly. I can't tell you where to get them, but I can tell you what they are. MPR17933.bin and Sega underscore 101.bin. There are a few more for certain games like King of Fighters 95 and Ultraman, but these will get you up and running with a ton of different Sega Saturn games. If you need the checksum for those BIOSes, we can go to the Manafin website to documentation, scroll down until we find Sega Saturn, and it's going to tell us right here, Sega Saturn underscore 101.bin, here's the checksum. So if you find one, you might want to check it against this. Same thing with the MPR17933. So now that we have our Sega Saturn BIOSes, we're just going to grab them place them right in our firmware folder inside of the Manafin emulator folder. So we now have our two BIOSes in here. That is located in our LaunchBox directory for easy access. We now need to set up Manafin inside of LaunchBox, but first you're also going to need some Sega Saturn games. So in a folder on my desktop called Sega Saturn, I have a few games here. They are bin and Q files. Now, if you run across ISOs, you can find a way to make a bin and Q file very easily online using ISO Buster or a similar application. But for me, all of mine are already ready to go. Bin and Q. Now, Manafin's going to be reading from the Q file to launch our games. If we want to launch a game right now without LaunchBox, we're just going to take a Q file, Fighting Vipers for Saturn, Drop it right on top of the Manafin EXE. It's going to start up for us. We're now emulating Fighting Vipers for the Sega Saturn using the Manafin emulator. So you might notice we're not in full screen mode and there are a few extra settings we can mess around with. If you grab your keyboard and press F1, it's going to bring up the default key assignments menu. If we want to do full screen, press Alt, Enter. Now if we exit just like this by pressing Escape on our keyboard, every time we start a new game in Manafin, it's going to go full screen for us. So we have full screen, full time set up right now. We also want to set up a controller. Now we only need to do these steps one time. From your keyboard, Shift, Alt, 1. If you notice at the very bottom, Digital Gamepad 1, we need to map our buttons. 
So I'm going to be mapping my D-pad, digital gamepad, up. You need to press each button twice. Down, down, left, left, right, right, start, start, A, A, and so on. Certain games will prompt you to set up an analog stick and a mode button. Now this game here didn't utilize that with the original Sega Saturn, so I don't need to set it up. It will prompt you at the bottom when you're setting up your controller. But now, we're just going to press F1 to exit this menu. And we can now start playing. We now have the Manafin emulator running. Let's go ahead and get it set up inside of LaunchBox. One thing I always do is place my games in my LaunchBox directory. So games, I'm going to grab my Sega Saturn folder that contains all of my Sega Saturn games. Place it right in here. Let's go ahead and start up LaunchBox. We need to set up the Manafin emulator inside a LaunchBox. So we're going to go to Tools, Manage Emulators, Add an Emulator. At the top, you could pretty much name it anything you want. I just named mine Manafin. Emulator Application Path. We need to browse to our emulators folder or wherever you place the Manafin emulator. And we want to find the EXE. Double click. Associated Platforms. Since we're doing Sega Saturn, we need to name this Sega Saturn. Make sure we have Default Emulator checked. Click OK and Close. Now it's time to import the Saturn games. Tools, Import, ROM Files. Next, I'm going to add that full Sega Saturn folder I created and put in my games directory. LaunchBox is going to scan through here. If you have separate folders inside of here, that's totally fine. Click OK and Next. Platform for imported games, Sega Saturn. Next, Manafin should be chosen. If it's not, use the drop down and choose it from here. Next, since I already placed my games in my LaunchBox directory, I'm going to use the files in their current location. They're exactly where I want them to be already. Search for game information from the LaunchBox games database. I recommend leaving this one checked. And next, would you like to download images for your games? Yes, we would. If you have an EMU Movies account, we can also download some awesome artwork and videos from here. Click Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? We're pretty much done here, so click Next. We're now ready to import name of the game, file location, and extension. Should pick up the Q files. Click Finish. LaunchBox is now going to download all of our metadata, artwork, and everything like that. Give it a little while to finish up. My seven games were imported successfully. I'll click OK. Over in the left-hand column, we should now have a Sega Saturn option. All we need to do now is start a game. So I'm going to go with Virtua Fighter 2. This is actually a pretty hard game to emulate with a Sega Saturn emulator. Runs fine in here. We've already set up our controller, so all we need to do is play some Sega Saturn games. Fight! One! Ready! Go! Press escape on your keyboard, or if you have controller automation set up, use your hotkeys. It'll exit the Manafin emulator, and you're pretty much done. That's it, guys. Now, I know you can use RetroArch with the same core, but I love these standalone emulators as of late. I'm trying to add as many as I can to my collection, and I know some of you out there might want to use standalone also. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below, and like always... Thanks for watching.